My name's Ben Phillips. I spend most of my time filming pranks to wind up my bro, poor Elliot. He's a daft donk, but I don't know what I'd do without him. Helping me along the way is Farmer Chris. He likes the ladies, and to be fair, he plows a lot. Uh, a lot of heels. Then, there's Surfer Tris. He's got great abs and absolutely no idea what's going on. And Clara? She pulls pranks and pints. Oh, and she's got Chris wrapped around her little finger. Then, of course, Nana and Grandad. I love them to bits, but they're a bit mad. I've got one aim, and that's to make the world smile. And in doing that, I've got to make Elliot go mental. Ah! Look at me, Ben! Ah! So we've got a camera crew following us behind the scenes, but they were about to catch our biggest prank blow up in our faces. Literally. Let's wind this back to where it all began. Where most things do, in the pub. So that stupid donk Elliot has only gone and been evicted from his flat. Chris doesn't want him staying there, and I definitely don't want him staying here. Me being persuasive, Phillips, for I'd go in and twist some arms. He's not staying on the bloody land again, Ben. Chris, he needs someone to stay at the place. I don't he's care. Homeless. What happened to his flat or wherever he was staying? Something to do with the councillors. It doesn't matter. Why is the landlady kicking you out? She said she didn't like my cooking. <laughs> what cooking? Well, I had a little. I had a big fire, okay? <laughs> I basically almost burnt the house hey, down. You know you need supervision. You can't even wipe your bum, you dog. Shut up. Wait, calm down. So, oh my gosh, it's disgusting. Oh, man. Chris, all he's gonna do is stay in the middle of one of your random farms in a caravan and pay you some rent. What's the problem? He didn't pay rent last time, did he, Ben? The good news is farm Chris said you couldn't leave your caravan on his land. Thanks, but no bloody thanks. Why? You know what happened last time? Shut <laughs> up! Stop recording! Look, there's not gonna be any pranks, Elliot, right? No pranks in the thing. You say that every time. Bro, These videos right, are relentless edit, edit, and I'm edit, sick of them, edit, right? Edit, edit. I can assure you, I will pay the rent if he doesn't pay his rent. What else? What, do you want a back rub? No, you know what? If he messes up, play one of your shitty pranks on it. Yeah. Okay? Perfect. I've got to stick a crate of beer in there and a couple of bonos. Deal? It's a deal. With that sorted, it was time to go on the lash. But as ever, Chris was moping about his on and off girlfriend, Clara. Are you going to speak to her? What? Clara, are you going to speak to her? I don't know, she's seen a bloody rugby player or something. You're the one who said you want to see other people, Chris. Well, I don't want to be tied down, Ben. <laughs> That's not what she said. Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Clara, yeah, I like her, okay? But it's not a big deal, because I like sausages, and I like shooting rabbits, and I want to be free to see other people, but I don't want her seeing other people. Does that make sense? If Chris wants to play the field, well, put it this way, he's not going to plough my field. The field's like a metaphor. It's fine. Chris doesn't know what a metaphor is. Hey. I don't Leave get it. women. I really don't. Mr. Giles? Hey, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get your hands, get your hands, oh, 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 your hands off. Oh, oh, They're oh, mine. Oh, oh. Did you pay for them? No, clearly Did you not. pay for them? They're mine. All right, all right, calm down. Chill out. What's going on, Elle? How are you keeping? What's the news? What's got? I just had the weirdest conversation with Clara up there. All right, well. You're in a big oh, rugby boyfriend. Don't start on that one. Mm. No, apparently he's a worrier in bed. What, he worries in the bedroom? Like, I think so. Oh, in really? bed? Like, That's what I'm assuming he means. But, <laughs> but I think that he's into this Fifty Shades of shit, basically. Like, into this blindfold, <laughs> hang, hang, I don't know. Oh, anyway, all this crap, but... I need to go for a piss, so keep an eye on my drinks, yeah? And don't touch them. Mm. He's always so angry. He really is. Night, man. Yeah, he always watching his back like we're always planning. He's such a paranoid person he as well. He is, isn't he? Yeah. Always worried that we're about planning. Him, 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 him. Exactly. He's so he thinks the whole bloody world so revolves him. around him. He's so blimmin' paranoid I'll all the time the as well. I'll put some good. Get the mash down. Who? Oh, oh no. shit. Too much. Oh, what's going on here? I said none of my drinks were taken. Elliot, one shot. shot. Come it's on. I'm gonna kill you. Well, time you shared well? To your good health. My good health. That's <coughs> nice, that. That's oh, very yeah, cool. no <laughs> You're right, Elf. Have some water. Be 
get so bloody greedy, doesn't it? <laughs> Elliot recovered and moved on to Chris's farm the next day. And within a few days, he was already overstaying his welcome. <sighs> the donk. He's taking the piss, Ben. He really is actually taking the piss now. Right, he woke me up at silly o'clock in the morning. Right, come down here thinking there was a burglar. He's cooking a fryer. <laughs> ben, he comes in and uses the toilet. Oh, right, and no. he stinks. Walked past the caravan, didn't I? Yeah? Rocking, shaking, moaning, groaning. Then right. It's, then it's never had sex. No, no, he's not having bloody sex. He's having a wank there. <laughs> Have you, go in there and just smell. Morning. Morning. That's my dad's sweater. It smells nice as well. What are you using now? His mum's bath bombs. <laughs> he goes, what? what do I even say to that, Ben? What do I even say? Well, sorted already. Chill. We it's best barely sort it in quickly. All right. So when I say Elliot actually stinks, I mean he hums. And the worst thing is he uses my house to poo in. It's ridiculous. If you're ever having problems like Farmer Chris where Elliot keeps on shitting in your toilet and you've got someone who just stinks up the place, get some chilli. Pull out the toilet roll, rub it on each sheet, making sure you just put a line across it. That's enough surface, trust me. Otherwise, you're just being cruel. Get rid of the chilli, hide the uh, camera and wait for your victim to play the ring of fire. Elliot, prepare for some real heat. I'm cranking this up. Chris has ordered the explosives. Basically, we're going to blow up Elliot's shitty caravan. But don't worry, we've ordered Elliot a new caravan. And we've taken all the safety precautions. What could possibly go wrong? With the explosive set and Elliot on the way, it was time to hit record. You're probably wondering why we're in the middle of a field. Midwinter, minus two. It's bloody freezing, Ben. And it's bloody freezing. Yeah. Me and Chris, being the good guys we are, thought we'd help a dear friend of ours, also known as poor Elliot. Meaning Elliot? He's having a housewarming. Oi! Warming. What's going on here? Oh, what do you want? Oi! <laughs> go and be a proper yeah, mate. Now get out my face, you stupid lad. And you now stop recording and get out my land. Get out! Oh, you? Yeah, no, you've got the camera. Oh, why, Len? No, it's not working. Oh, you record for a second. Work. You, record, you, record, you record, record, record. Why isn't it working? Is there a battery? Is there a new battery? You made it, Chris. I didn't make it. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, Elliot? Elliot, what are you out. doing? No, no, get, get out, 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 get
Okay. He actually killed him over a shitty, shitty video. Turned up to take Elliot surfing, but he was dead. Such a waste. I mean, the lessons were already paid for. Now we have to tell him now the terrible news. It's gonna break her heart, and she's gonna break my neck. Nan, I don't really know how to say this. I've come to tell you some news. Um, it's in regards to Elliot. Yeah, Elliot was involved in an accident. Uh, I, I'm just, I don't... And he's dead. He's not. Uh, Nan, he died. He yeah. was here having a kep on the city. Please, please, this is not the time for any games or any jokes. Last week, Nan, you were saying Janet Jackson turned up for a ketchup and crisp sandwich. She did. And Liam Neeson came looking for his daughter. Mm. Grandad. Mm. Grandad, stop playing around. Grandad, mm. give him a rest. Just, mm. it's not the time for games. He Grandad. must probably mm. want a tin of tuna. Mm. Mm. What's going on? So we accidentally blew up poor Elliot. I'd broken the sad news to Nan and Grandad, but they didn't seem too convinced. Next we had to tell the world. Okay, not the world, but the pub. Why did you take that well? Elliot had a 950 pound bar tab. He's not as devastated as I am. You seem fine, what's wrong? I'm holding it back. He was an incredible lover. Elliot. Uh, uh, Elliot? Yeah, I mean, sometimes it was like he was bobbing for apples at a trash metal gig, but, you know, Elliot. he was enthusiastic, always raring to go. Elliot. So, yeah. And the position, tell you. Anyway, Clara, it was nice to see you today. Thank you. Saddest day ever. Saddest day ever, yeah. Um, you should take these. These is good for grief. And say hey to Chris for me. Chris, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. What's going on, man? Well, firstly, it's curry night. Secondly, the landlord's raging about a £950 bill that Elliot owes. Nine which I'm just going to say we are not paying, no matter what the situation. Good, you wouldn't get a penny out of me. And thirdly, Clara's acting a bit weird. She's she um, all right? I don't know, mate, but she's saying something about she used to sleep with Elliot and... She used to sleep with Elliot? Chris, it's none of my business. What? Like... It's ridiculous. Ben, Ben, look. Shit, it's Elliot. Jeepers. He's alive, isn't he? Elliot's alive. And I'm going to kill him. I don't know. Get out, get out, get out. Chris, don't slam your door. Is it working? Yeah, I said everything you told me to. Like what? Well, I said how we were shagging and that you're dead and... We're shagging, are we? Look, I only did this to make Chris jealous. Don't get weird about it. Listen, I'm known as Big Dick Giles. Chris is not known as Big Dick Powell, right? What? Is he jealous, though? Because, like, I saw that rugby player, but that didn't really work. So... I don't care! Never mind thick as two planks. His skull is so thick, he's explosion-proof. Who pretends they're dead? It's messed up. Catch the dog stick. Are you going to carry on with the story? Yeah. Thank you. Now let's have a kiss. No, that's gross. So a bunny just kissed Clara. What? Shut up, shut up. Everyone in Chris. He's alive. What do you mean he just kissed Clara? I saw saw bones. I saw bones in a bucket, Ben. Bones in a bucket, you donk. Fried chicken. I just thought Elliot may have had a lot of little bones rather than a few big ones. What you no, forget about Clara. We're not in trouble. It's fine. The child keeps going. Fantastic. We'll resume. Let's walk away. Forget about all so this. So Elliot's not dead. No, no Elliot's not bloody dead. dead. You've just seen him. So that was a ghost. It wasn't a bloody ghost. He's still alive. Genius. Genius. I've never been called that before. I don't know why he called you that.
basically, you have two dickheads in this world called Ben Phillips and Farmer Shitface. They thought it'd be funny to rig my caravan up with explosives and come on! I went bloody flying! It even burnt off my shit in pubes! Being stealthy Giles I was, I overheard them saying that I was dead. So I thought to myself, why don't I play a prank on them? Revenge is a dish, best served with a punch in the dick. Clara, what the hell is going on? I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about, you seen an idiot. Prove it. I got you on camera. No, sorry. Well, yeah. I tell you what, you keep playing this game. I'm gonna tell Dave about the 950 pound bill that you screwed him off for Fred, it's alcohol problems. Okay, fine. Look, Elliot got blown clear of the explosion. He was in a daze, ended up at his nana's house, and then he came here and started plotting against you. And you think it's fine to play sick jokes? <sighs> well, in that case, you can play one of our sick jokes. No, no, I'm not getting involved. Yes, you are. Once you're in, you're in. That's it. Well, what are we going to do? Plan a funeral. He's not really dead. That's what he thinks. So Elliot ropes Clara into convincing me that he's actually dead. Be careful what you wish for, bro. Ben wants me to convince Elliot that he is actually dead, even though he's not really dead, but they thought he... I'm confused. If he wants to act like a ghost, then he won't have any problem being spooked. Elliot, it's time to get spooky. First up, voices from beyond the grave. Spooky can get. Three, two. or finding or something. I'd give up. Next, rig a few hidden cameras. Scary voices in a scary place. An invisible wire for some proper paranormal activity. Let the seance begin. Bring his energy. Eric, can you hear me? Can what are you doing here? No, no, I think he's with us. Can you feel that? No. I'm with you. There's no spirit in the room. Can you feel the energy? Nan, I didn't even know you were into this shit. Well, Nan? Can you hear that? Spirits, what is he saying? There is no spirit in the room. I'm right here. What's that energy? <laughs> 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 How's my acting? Shit, but it doesn't matter, he's stupid. Anyway, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Time to give him the big send off, I suppose. Yeah, should we go? S send off away. So Clara pretends to contact the spirit world, and Elliot totally buys it. He's properly spooked, just wait until he turns up at his own funeral. <laughs> I didn't realise you had this many friends. Yeah, neither did I. Neither did I. Thank Whose you. funeral is it? Cheers, guys. Hello? Cheers. Hello? Thank you very much for coming. Up here? Someone? Can you hear me? Clara? No. Guess not. <laughs> Nana? Run, Nana! You death bats! Answer me! Boys! <laughs> I'm here! I'm not dead! What's the matter with you people? I don't know what to do. I really don't. What the hell is that shit? Calm down. Oh, no shit! I know it's a prank! Of course it's a prank with you! Get that phone and light down my face! Why'd you blow my caravan up? Because it's good footage, it's good viewing. 
good viewing. Is that? I'll give you good play viewing. Hey, will you get here? Call, any this, calm, is, this is good viewing, Ben. Will you, any, That's good viewing. viewing. Do you want to see more good viewing, Ben? Hey, you're ruining stuff. Hey, 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 what? Hey, what? That's good viewing, Ben. Hey, hey, what? Sorry, bro. <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> You're a disgrace as well. Oh, You're a oh, dying of laughter. Oh, oh, oh that's fabulous. Say that again and I'm shitting you about oh. oh. <laughs> You're disgusting. And you, you oh, don't you say a word. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Just remember, if you're ever having a bad day, could be worse, it could be ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, I need a drink now. You're a piss take. Right. Dave, round on me. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, fine. Yeah, so okay. uh, I was chatting to Elliot after he calmed down eventually. Yeah. And he said you only did it all back by talking about you and him to get me jealous. Why? Were you jealous? That's not the question I asked you. Did you do it to make me jealous? Maybe. Anyway, he said about you and your rugby boy or whatever it was. Mm. Yeah, well, that didn't work out. He said he was a worry in the bedroom anyway. No. It's pathetic. <laughs> Chris, I said he was a warrior in the bedroom. What, what do you mean, a warrior? Yeah, like he really went for it. Oh my god, a warrior. Not a warrior, a warrior. Elliot is a bloody idiot. I look so stupid now. So we had a funeral for Elliot. It all seemed so real. And then he turned up at his own funeral. I mean, that's just not normal, is it? But I'm really confused. Is Elliot actually dead? Oh, let's save best to last, shall we? The goddamn funeral, eh? They're sick. Sick in the head! So as you can see, it's been a mental few days. We caused a massive explosion, Nana contacted the spirit world, Elliot died, come back to life again. I suppose you could say he's a bit like Jesus. Yeah, and I still haven't got a place to live! <laughs> and you still look one on that shitty phone of yours! Listen! Why don't we kill you in your sleep, boy? <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> when are we going to tell him about the new caravan? We don't need to. Either. What? You know what? Stop recording! <laughs> <laughs>